and genealogists and family historians, we always want to deal with facts wherever possible. And a fact could be something as simple as an occupation, for instance. But every fact must have a source, and every source must have a citation. Within Ancestry.com, at the very heart of a profile, both facts and sources. And it's important as an Ancestry.com user to ensure that facts are supported by our sources and all sources support a fact. So here we are at Clarence Hemingway. Let's go ahead and look inside the Ancestry system live and see how facts and sources support one another. Here we are live in Ancestry. And again, we're looking at Clarence Hemingway. Here is his profile. One thing that many users of Ancestry are not aware of is that I can filter some events off here. I can take away these events in blue, which are, even though they're facts, they're brought across from another profile, so I can remove those. You can see it looks cleaner now. And name and gender is also optional. I can have that switched on or switched off. But here we are at Clarence. And his profile is well balanced where the facts and sources support each other. So every fact relates to a source. And every source relates to facts. And that's what we'd expect to see and hope to see. Let's go now to Ernest Hemingway and look at a situation where facts and sources don't spot each other and what we can do about it. And here we are at Ernest Hemingway's profile. Again, a very short profile for Ernest Hemingway. If we click on the facts, you can see most of them are linked as one would expect. But here, death is not linked. There is no source for death. As I come down the actual list of sources, I've got what I would call orphan sources here, sources that don't relate to anything. Now, this is often caused by bringing in hints and not referring the hints to a fact. Sometimes it's pretty easy to resolve. I've got a death here. And I've got a death here. And obviously I do some research to make sure it's correctly supporting my fact. But the assumption here that is, I can link this source to the fact and close. And I simply now have it linked together. I could equally have done this from the fact itself and added the sources. Here. So either way works. Now, some sources, and let's view this one. We'll go directly to this source here and click on the actual image. This is a marriage application for Patrick Hemingway, who is Ennis Hemingway's son. So there's Ennis Miller Hemingway. Now, this happens after Ernest Hemingway has died. So we'll have to create a special fact to connect this record, this source, into this profile. Let me go ahead and do that. Here we are back at Ernest's profile. You see this is the source we're talking about. It's an orphan source. It's not connected to a fact. So we really need to have a fact to make that source relevant. And there's no facts currently in a profile that correspond to that source. So I need to create a new fact. When I go to Ancestry, there is no fact that says son's marriage application. So this will be a custom event. I'll create this really quickly here. Just do son's marriage. And it was the... 9th of Feb, 
1982, I believe. And in this case, Ancestry is actually warning me that this date is after the death of Miss Hemingway, which is fine. I want to have this information on his profile. So I'll do add anyway. And here's this new event here in 1982. Now, now this is a, an orphaned event. But I can connect it to the source simply by here attaching to the source the Montana marriage record here. And now we have the source with a fact and a fact with the source. It's important to know how hints work in this regard as well. So let me go to hints on Ernest. And we can just take this first one here, this passport. Now obviously all hints need deep investigation, but just for the purpose of this video, let me review that. And we'll actually add it to the tree. So what what this looks like here on the left hand side is that this is the name of Ennis Hemingway. So if I click here, I can do site source. Oh, because the name is different slightly. I can cite it as an alternative, but let me go ahead and save that and just save to the tree here and go back to facts. Here's the social security application. I'll bring in the details here name and gender. So you can see that the US Social Security application and claims links to his name. Now I could do add some facts which I really should to correspond to the date of that. But one thing you should notice if if name switched off here, it looks like an orphan source. I need to switch it back on to get it connected. Let me look at again hints. We'll go back to the hints section and see what else we have. There is a passport application. This will give different kinds of facts, I believe. So let me say again, I'd like to keep this. As you can see here, I've got the name, birth, and here a residence. So this will create one new fact, new event here, not a new event. It says new here, and then under name and birth, I have different. So if I click on name, I click on birth here, I can either cite the source or say as an alternative. So I'll just cite the source here, and we'll see a new residence pick up. So let me go to next. I'll save that to the tree. We'll go back over the facts. Close this off. I'll look for that passport application. As you can see now, it's linked to name, birth, and the residence of France. Now, here I really need to do some more investigation and change the date, maybe whatever date that would be, to get it linked into the correct time frame. Here we are. And again, I can disconnect uh, facts from sources if I wish, or sources from facts. So if I want to disconnect this from, let's say, his name, I just connect it off. If I want to connect it to his address, connect it in. So there we have facts and sources. So the, the real underwriting point of this video is that all your facts should point to a source and as we go through they all do and all the sources even the ones you've created should point to a fact in that way you have a very clean profile no often sources no often often facts thank you for listening hope you found this informative if you have please like and subscribe.